So, hello and welcome everybody to yet another very short video today. Today we're gonna check some larvae of Dorcus alcides. I had a wild caught pair and they have been in the breeding box for about six months. And I checked and I found just five larvae. The female died pretty soon, pretty fast. Of course, it's always the risk with the wild court beetles. You don't know how old they are. And yeah, so um, all the five larvae I transferred into one of those five liter boxes altogether. And um, one was actually really large. So I had a little fear that it would eat the others and I put it already in one um, 1.8 liter box by its own with some flex oil. Um, actually, the larvae that I put singular had 29 grams yet, so quite a good size. Um, I'm hoping to go over 30, 35 grams. So yeah, um, but here were four smaller larvae. They have been in this five liters for about one month now. So I think it's time to check them and see a, if they have grown, um, if we had any casualties, and if they have eaten each other, if they're cannibalistic. Because with Dorcas it's known that they're cannibalistic. But yeah, we'll see. So, let's start here with this 5 liter box. As you can see in the, in the bottom I put um, flex oil, and on the top just some, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, just some white rotten wood um, from the original substrate out of the breeding box just to help with the microfauna again. It's always good to leave a little bit of space here in the new breeding boxes also, in the new rearing boxes um, for the old substrate to help with the, with the fauna. So, let's see what we have here. First I'm gonna remove all the white rotten wood and here I already see some movement. Oh, actually, already, I don't know if you can see, it's trying to bite me here, yeah, a nice larva, a nice larva of Dorcus Titanus, ah, not Dorcus Titanus, Dorcus Alcides, from the size of the head capsule, I would suggest it is a male, also, you cannot see any ovaries. Yeah, so probably this one is a male. Let's weigh it very fast here. Yeah, this one is at 12 grams. Oh, <laughs> trying to bite me. So, 12 grams, it is okay for this stage. It looks to be an early L3. The beetle here. Very nice. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna put it in the new substrate. I just have some flex oil here, 1.8 liters. Slightly compacted, just make a hole, put the head inside like this, and normally they will dig right down. Once they are dug down, I will sorry, I will add a little bit of the old substrate to cover it completely and then I think we'll check it in around maybe two to three months. Should be enough time um, and enough flex oil. So let me see, let me just position my camera here again ah, and we'll see if we can find some more. Sad thing with Dorcos Alcides is that they are imported and they are very, very cheap imported. So um, you can buy a pair for maybe 25 euros. And um, yeah, but the, the breeding and rearing takes a lot of time, 12 to 18 months. And so the, the captive bred ones and also larvae are not so cheap. And so nobody is buying uh, captive bred ones, but rather the imported, which is not so good. So yeah, here you can see. The next lover, also L3, and this one looks 
like a female, yeah. I don't know if you can see the ovaries here. Let me just focus. Here you can see the lighter points. Those are the ovaries. They're actually a lot more prominent um, than in the video, in real life. So, And you can also see the head capsule. It's a little bit smaller. Let's weigh her. And I will actually later go back in the video and um, yeah, note all the weights and put them on the larvae boxes so that in, when we come back in two months, we can actually check on the weights. So this one is eight grams. Female, and this should be quite a lot of substrate for her. Also really good moisture. So. so, three more to go, hopefully. Oh, here we have a big one. Here we have a really big one. You can see here, big head capsule, very vicious, <laughs> trying to bite me here. And I can imagine that they can pack quite a bite. Let's weigh it. We are at 24 grams. So yeah, this is quite a big one. Of course it's a male with this size. And you can imagine the 29 gram larvae is even bigger. So they're quite nice. Um, according to the Japanese breeders, they can actually reach between 40 and 60 grams. But probably that is with the use of kinchi and not flake soil and probably a little bit cooler temperatures. So also this one will go down into this substrate and we'll cap it with the original substrate which looks still very very good actually. We have a lot of wood still in there. Yeah. So, should be one more larvae to go. We'll see here. If we have one more. Doesn't look like it, really. <laughs> so it could be that it was a very small one and that they have consumed it. They've eaten it, cannibalized. Especially with, with the Dorcas, if they lack protein, they can easily yeah, attack each other and eat them. So. And it's actually recommended to keep them all separate. So, yeah, that is it. I think we don't have any one more, one more. So, yeah, um, right now we have four boxes of Tokus Alcides, as I said, the big one also. And we have three males and one female. So not a very good distribution of gender. But we hope that we can continue the breeding here with Dorcus Alcides. And maybe have a nice captive bred strain. So I'm capping it up with the old substrate because it's still quite good. Yeah, it does not smell bad. Actually it smells a little bit um, like fresh flakes or a little bit like a mushroom. So yeah, that's it. I will cap them and we'll go back in around two months and uh, check them again. So thank you everybody for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.